camera, please. Ah, oh, oh. ah, the call of the wild. Habits of the local species. <sighs> the flight of majestic birds. <laughs> the bond between parent and child. Doing what animals do. It doesn't get any wilder than this. Oh yeah. Hi, Nodo. Oh, it's you, Dodo. Well, you're just in time. I'm about to jump across this gap. Sure, I'm scared, but I've got to overcome my fear. I'm gonna finally make this jump. Not so much for myself, but for my son Junior. He needs to know his dad isn't your average new. I'm brave. I'm athletic. I'm. Hi, Dad. Going home. Something. We thought you were loyal. We wanted to surprise him. It's his birthday. No, it isn't. According to this card, Lyle's birthday is tomorrow. Remember when I gave you all special permission to get into the pond with me? I take it back. <laughs> one year older tomorrow, and as usual, no one will remember. How come I've never had a surprise birthday party thrown for me? Because I'm the one who always throws them. Now I'll never have a surprise birthday party unless I put the idea into someone else's head. Hey, Dodo, what have you got there? Lyle's birthday present. It's a lie detector. A lie detector? Yep. It knows if you're telling the truth. I found it at the junkyard. Cleaned it up. Tightened a few bolts. How do you know it works? Well, I don't actually know for sure. Hey, that gives me a great idea. It works. Nu never had a great idea in his life. Ah! Well, this is terrible. Now I have to go find Lyle a new birthday present. What's that you're carrying? What? Oh, this little thing? Just a picture from that huge surprise birthday party a certain someone threw for you last year. Remember? Vaguely. The fireworks? The clog dancers? The three tenors? Those screaming Italian guys? Uh huh. Do you remember? No,、nope, can't say I do. So much for the subtle approach. Why are you looking through junk for Lyle's birthday present? I wouldn't give my best friend junk new. The moment I get my hands on a piece of junk, it becomes an antique. What's this thing, Dodo? Thrown out of a dry cleaner's. All I know is that if you place yourself inside the vice,、uh -huh. the pain would probably be incredible. Of course, if the starch kicked in, it would be much worse. I hope Lyle likes this birthday present I got him. Lana, why are you wearing a hockey helmet? I'm taking it up. Love the game. Really? It seems so unlike you. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You know, all this reminds me of your surprise birthday party last year. It does. Remember the mimes? The skywriting swans? Elvis? 
That was a great birthday party. Can you imagine the dedication of the mastermind who planned it for you? I uh, never found out who did it. It was me, the birthday boy. It's him. Where do we go with this birthday stuff? Hide. Ooh, where? Up the tree. Okay. All right. Hinting hasn't worked, so I need a plan. Well, I had a plan, but what I need is a better plan. Eugene. Yeah. Don't you think we have a little too much weight on this tree? You're uh, right. Obviously left over from one of my shindigs. Lyle snooping around is going to blow tomorrow's birthday surprise, and I may need every second to find a present. Hmm. What's that thing over there? It's called an electrical generator. Never heard of it. All I know is if you touch it, uh huh, you'll get hit with enough electrical charge to light up a small town. Cool. Lyle. Oh, Lyle. Anybody seen Lyle? I'm over here. Got something for me? Special delivery. Flowers. Flowers? What on earth for? Says here, they're for your birthday. Birthday? My birthday? What thoughtful person remembered that tomorrow is my birthday? Well, you mailed them to yourself, remember, Lyle? Shh! Enough already. Cut. By the way, you owe me four dollars. <laughs> Cash on delivery. That was the deal. No idea what it is, but anything with that many parts has got to make a great birthday present. Okay, let's get cracking. Says here we start by attaching thingamabob A to fandangle B. Isn't this a do jigger? Now, what you call it? C should slip easily into thingamajig D. Here's the problem. A misprint on page four. Told you it wasn't my fault. Oh, what's the use? I'm never gonna find something by tomorrow. Tito, did you put this whole thing back together by yourself? You should be so proud. But I'm taking the credit. Do you think he suspects? Lyle's not that dumb. He knows exactly what we're up to. Probably so excited he can't sleep a wink. This is it, my birthday. Please, 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 be planning a party. We only need two more minutes to set up. Distract them. Hey, Lana. Do you know what today is? Today? I'd rather talk about last night. Huh? Last night I dreamt I played Chopin on a Stradivarius while the sun set over the distant Mediterranean. Really? Last night I dreamt I ate a ten-pound marshmallow, and when I woke up, my pillow was missing. Lyle, don't you think that joke's a little stale? Let's join the others. Surprise! Me? You love me. You really love me. These are.
for you. You know I'm allergic to peanuts. Hey, it's the thought that counts. Hey, Loyal, over here! Ta-da! A lie detector. I <clears throat> built it myself. Let me test it. Truth or lie? This is the best birthday of my life. True. And it's all thanks to you guys. Okay, now it's Lana's turn. What? Come, Come on, on. what's the big deal? Lana. The question is, do you think you could ever love a fella like me? <gasps> Take your time, Lana. There's no rush. And remember, it is my birthday. Maybe. That was the truth. Yes, she maybe loves me. <laughs> okay. Remember, we have to let go together on the count of three. One, two. Birthday parties. <laughs>